Let's see how to install the knob inside the center console of your Model 3 and why after you have successfully plugged the commander into the OBD port from the previous video. If you own a pre Highland and Juniper Tesla model, first plug the provided USB-C cable into one of the ports inside the storage compartment. Then plug the other side directly into the knob's USB-C port marked with the car icon. Place the knob in the middle of your central console just like so. Then push the other side down until it clicks and locks fully inside the storage compartment. Slide it back by using both hands placed on both sides. If the knob does not sit flush with your center console, remove it by pulling it from one of its ends and using the leveling strips provided in the box until you find the perfect height so that it sits as it did straight from the factory. Most people will not need to do this step but some batches of Tesla were built with slightly twisted center consoles so adjustment might be needed. If you own a Model 3 Highland or Model Y Juniper, this is how the sexy knob will look for you. To install it, first place the provided USB-C cable inside the port marked with the car. Then turn the knob at an angle until it fits inside the grooves of your center console. Then twist gently until it straightens up and locks in. After that, take the other end of the USB-C cable, plug the provided adapter into it and plug it into the 12V socket to power it up. After the knob is settled, let's open the sexy app and connect them both together. Scroll down to the knob tab and press the connect button. After a few seconds, your phone should pair to it and a connected status should appear. Once this process is done, the knob will automatically connect to the already installed commander. If for some reason this does not happen, just go inside the settings screen and press the button at the bottom. If, for any reason, the above steps do not work for you, visit the commander settings, do a factory reset, unplug the knob, then plug it back in, and then try to repeat the process we went through a few seconds ago. When all connected, let's customize your sexy knob via the app. To replace a feature, just highlight it with a simple click. Then open the feature menu and select the one you want to have at that spot. Some features might come with extra options like the one that controls the temperature, so make sure to read through the full description before saving. After a feature is saved, you can add some customizations such as how you want it to execute, via a press called execute on enter or via scroll. The first option executes the action immediately after you press the corresponding button, and it is automatically selected for those features that do not have a third state, such as opening the glove box, toggling the rear vent, and so on. You can disable that option and make it so they execute only when you rotate the knob. But if an action has more than two states, executing on enter will not work. You will have to switch through levels by rotating the dial itself. I personally prefer to have all of my actions enabled by pressing the button and not through rotating, so that I can have them execute faster, but it is all up to you. You can adjust how many seconds after you execute an action the knob should go back to its home screen. By default, 3 seconds will be automatically selected, but if you think you need more time to make some extra adjustments, you can change that number. To find the feature faster, scroll up to the search bar we have provided and type the action you're looking for. For instance, media. And here are all the options I have available for it. While we are on the screen, you'll see a feature called a submenu. There are a bunch of those throughout the app and they were made to help you enter a whole list of corresponding features with just one press. Just like this media submenu, after I press on it, I enter a screen with features such as play, pause, previous, next and more which makes it so much more powerful when it comes to customization. We have even made it so that you can create a custom submenu, adding only the features you want to have inside that special screen. To find it, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list, enter the other section, and there it is. Now you can add any of the features to it and have quick manual control over the actions you need in a specific scenario. By default, you have access to three screens holding five features each. But if you need more, just press and hold on the knob's visualization and scroll all the way to the right. If you think you need less, just press the delete button. But having multiple pages might be confusing for some, which is why we have made the auto page selector, an option which will trigger a specific page based on the drive state you are in. For instance, I have made it so that when my car is in drive, the knob goes automatically to page 2, where I keep all the actions I need during a single drive, such as manually preheating my battery, controlling my regenerative braking, and so on. But when I'm in reverse, the knob goes into page 3, where I keep features such as fold and tilt mirrors, turning on the hazard lights, and more. Inside the same screen, you can do many more customizations to your knob, such as what brightness it should be on, where auto will mimic the brightness of your Tesla screen. You can choose after what time your knob screen should turn off when you are not using it, how strong the vibration should be, or even choose the color of the LED. 
by default, dynamic colors will be turned on, where it will change based on the actions you are in. For instance, when I control the region, the lower the level I am at, the dimmer the light will go. But if you want your knob to flash only in one single color, disable the toggle and choose the color you prefer to have. By default, most of the features will not display on your Tesla main screen until you pair our commander with your car, which uses an official API provided by Tesla themselves and which we have implemented into our product. To do so, follow the video which will pop up now at the top right corner or just click on it in the description of this video. But if you want to see everything right in front of your eyes, we have added a mirroring feature to the sexy app which will display everything immediately when you start using the knob. To activate it, go to the bottom of the list with all the customization and enabled show knob screen in the app feature. It is great especially for those who use our sexy app as a dashboard behind their steering wheel. Now you have all the information you need to start exploring the capabilities of your brand new sexy gadget, so go ahead and have some fun. Make sure to subscribe to our channel where we post educational videos every week.